All right, so here we are. Like so much crap everywhere. Blanket, mini little yoga mat, this atlas that my grandma's friend sent me. What else? Here I have some of my t-shirts that everybody should get. They're so fun. This is the colored one. And this is a black and white one. And 10% of all of my merch sales are going to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. So that's great. This is my guitars. Oh, now come upstairs. I freaking hate packing. So I have my sleeping bag outside my room ready to go. Towel. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. This is my room. Current state of affairs. It never looks like this, I promise, but this is like everything that I'm thinking of maybe taking with me, strewn somewhere. Got my ukulele. Uh, some envelopes for my first t-shirts that I've sold, which is so fun. My hiking shoes that gave me only one blister the first time I wore them. And these are my clothes that I think I'm going to pack for two months. It looks like I have a lot of socks and a questionable amount of like other things, but whatever. Um, let's take you into my Google Sheet. Aaron and I made this Google Sheet back in like March or something or January. This is our schedule. Things that are yellow are places where we're going to like national parks. These dark blue guys, this means that we're going to be driving at night. Wish us luck. These are some of the venues. These are the beautiful, lovely, giving people who we're staying with. Bless them. And those are all the places we're going to sleep. These are all the venues that I've emailed in order to book my shows. Just to give an idea. I totally understand why people have booking managers. So this whole tour has been like a DIY craft project. It looks like I'm up to 204. Actually, hold on, there were like four empty cells. So like 200, 200 even. Yellow means yes, black means nobody ever answered, and red means no for some reason. Don't know why, but... Anyway, it's really tough to book shows when A, you don't have a booking agent, B, you're a new artist, independent, and um, you don't have much of a following in any of these places because it's really my first time going and performing in any of these places. So I can't say, hey, I'm going to come and I promise I'll be able to draw 50 people who are all going to buy tickets and show up ready to buy seven drinks each. It's a great investment. So I really have to convince them why they should give me a chance to play there. So I've been really lucky to be able to book all the places that I have. Um, and then these are, I uh, obviously worked in business for a year because look at my Excel. Ugh, I just love Excel. Um, Google Sheets, my Excel expired and I'm not paying for that again. But anyway, this is all the stuff for like where I'm playing, the date, blah, 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 the venue, the time, who's playing with me, the booking contact, how are we going to make any money, are we going to make any money, probably not. And then... These are places I've been emailing for press. This is like a new thing I just started. I literally have no idea if I'm doing it right. Probably am not. I like sort of wrote a press release. I'm sort of just begging them to maybe write about me in order to get more people to come to the shows and just to maybe have my music played on some local radio stations and blah, blah. I thought that would be fun. So that's what I've been doing. A lot of coffee shop, a lot of co coffee shop days just started drinking coffee. So it was very fitting. Um, but... Yeah, that's pretty much the spreadsheet. I guess. I don't know. My arm is really messy. But basically, this whole trip is supposed to be, like, a super fun experiment. And I want to be super open with everybody who's following about what it's actually like to be, um a singer-songwriter trying to pursue music on your own um, because I have a lot of friends who are doing it yeah. and and we're all kind of in the same boat but everybody the way that you kind of do it as you guys will see is on social media um, you just kind of have to fake it till you make it and post like 
sorry, man, I'm so tired, and just post like, hey, um, dropping my new single in 10 days, who's ready? And I like, I've totally posted that before, and when I post that, like, I know who's ready. My mom, my dad, my grandma, and like probably the, the five friends who I've already sent the mix to because I needed help with edits. And that's just like the truth of it, but, I'm, but you have to post that because people want to see what you're doing, people want to see your success, and, and so that's not really who I am as a person. I'm very open, and you'll learn that too. Um, and like brutally honest, and I just like to have a good time and be myself. And I think that by posting things like that, like yeah, I want that because I want to be successful as a musician. But I also just want to be like, be myself and play my music and hope that people really want to follow me because they like my music and because they want to hear what I have to say, just like I want to hear what everybody else has to say. Um, so that's really what I'm going to be doing in this vlog. You're going to see me uh, hoping people show up to my shows. Um, probably like breaking down a couple times because I run out of time to do things or I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what to expect. My car will probably break down. Aaron and I will probably kill each other. But I think it'll be great. It'll be really fun. I promise my videos will get more exciting. This is just my entry to show you the prep work. But... We're going to like 25 cities. I think I have like 13 shows booked so far and I'm still working on it. I, I wanna like let you all kinda come with me. That's kind of the point of this whole video. If there's a place that you wanna see, um, if we're in the Grand Canyon and you want me to film something, tell me, I will put it in this video. Or if there's anything that like you really wanna get to but you know that you can't, just let me know and I'll bring you there with me. Like, I wanna see like where in America can I get the best so should it be like french fries? Should it be like best coffee shop? Should it be french fries? I don't know, you guys decide. <laughs> Just keep in mind, I eat on a vegan diet. I know, a touchy subject, but um, just as a guideline, don't be like best beef, patty beef, beefs in the country because I'm not gonna be trying that. I'm really bummed I can't take my cats. So if anybody out there has animals or pets that you want me to play with, also very much appreciated. And thank you in advance to all the awesome people who are gonna be housing Aaron and I. We have like 20 people we're staying with, which is awesome. And if anybody else wants to hop on that bandwagon, feel free to. If you don't, that's fine too, because that means I get to stay in more hotels and I freaking love hotels more than anything on the planet. Oh, I love hotels, even cheap ones, I love them. I don't know why, I love them so much. My goodness, ugh, love them. I promise this will be better when I am not sitting in my childhood bedroom and I'm with Aaron on the road. We're gonna come out, we're gonna play. The whole point of the come out and play deal is that I'm going out and playing music, get it? And we're just gonna freaking play too. We're gonna play like in the mud and in the mountains. And I want everybody who comes to a show to just come out and play. Like, come hang out, be child. I wish I could take every single one of you with me, but my car is extremely small. Unsure if it's even gonna fit all of our stuff. Well, all of my stuff. Erin's literally showing up in the morning. She has one freaking backpack, like one pair of boots, and a sleeping bag. And I'm like, so tell me what you want me to try in every city. Tell me if you have friends you want me to hang out with. Tell me if you have animals across the country that I can come and pet. And please keep watching. I promise it'll be really fun. And I can't wait to, to, fuck, I don't know, man. I suck at this. Bye. <laughs> Say that again. Tell me what's wrong. You have to wait until we're done laughing about it. <laughs> did, you, did you hear? We're under pain over the world. Right away with these elastics. <laughs> and they keep snapping my fingers. I've already worked eight hours today. <laughs> Time for all the questions. Dad, have you ever worked in retail? <laughs> it's not one piece of licorice for a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs>